Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a quick swatch party video. Now, excuse me because it's like 9 o'clock at night. I had a whole day at work and my makeup's pretty much off for the most part. I quickly threw on a lip color because I really want to film this and I got my brows done today. So I'm pretty sure I'm missing like half my eyelid makeup. But hopefully it's okay and you guys will still enjoy this video. So without further blabbering, let's get into my swatches of the new Pat McGrath Labs palette. Okay guys, so Pat McGrath did launch three little mini palettes like this. They are each $55, I believe, which is, you know, a lot cheaper than her larger palettes. And so everyone was really excited to try it out and stuff like that, which I think is really cool. Now, I actually have all the large palettes. She has four so far. And this is the only one I picked up from the minis because the other two were, one was like a warm brown and the other one was like a cool tone brown color range and I feel like I have a lot of those shades already so I decided to avoid buying that color. Now this is what the packaging looks like. It is very reminiscent of her larger palette packaging. In fact the print on this particular one which I picked which is the Lovey and Rose. If I'm butchering that I'm sorry but I picked the sort of pinky, people keep calling this the colorful one, but once I actually looked at it, I didn't think it was very colorful. But anyway, as you can see, the packaging mirrors each other, but the bigger ones actually came with their own like container, I guess you would call it. So this is a very nice plastic, but it's like very weighted and there's a nice, you know, beveled mirror in this packaging and stuff like that. And you can actually just store this. You don't have to put the palette back in the box. This one is a little bit different. I mean, I knew this is what it was going to look like. But it's still kind of weird to see it in the cardboard. So when you open it up, here is what the mini looks like. Here is a little mirror. And then these are the shades. She did put the shade names on a plastic sheet, which is nice if you're into that kind of stuff you know, having the names. But yeah, I don't know. I mean, I guess there's like a nice bright pink in here and a purple, which the other palettes don't really have, like those big pops of color. But to me, this isn't like that far out there either of a palette. I'm still very apprehensive about this because I'm very underwhelmed by this palette. Once I got it, I was just like, oh, because I was like, Karen, get all of them. Like I was trying to like hype myself up. It was really weird. And I was like, no, I don't really want any, so I didn't get more than I needed. I just got the one to try out, and I told myself if I liked it that much, then I can just get the other ones later. So that is what I did. Anyway, I wanted to film this video, just a little swatch party for you guys, because a lot of you have been asking me about my opinion on these, and yeah, like I just said, it was like kind of underwhelming because I already have the bigger ones, and so I was just like, oh, okay, and yeah, just didn't really like catch my eye, so I just bought one. Okay, so I'm going to stop blabbering and start swatching. I hope these are the formula of the original palettes that she did. So here are the top three shades. We have Pale Fire, Purple Rain, Gold Nectar. It's a very like powdery. This one has a beautiful like pink shift to it. This one is purple. And then the gold one looks really pretty. I mean, it's nothing new, but there are the first three shades. Now I'm going to swatch the last three shades. Okay, so here are the shades in the bottom row. We have Paranormal, Rose Risqué, and Euphoria are the shades. So let me go ahead and swatch. So Paranormal is a matte. I think it's the only matte actually in this palette. Actually, the pink shade is matte too, so these two shades are matte, and then this last shade, which is called Euphoria, is like a beautiful, darker, purpley, eggplanty type color. So here are the shades in this palette. 
And yeah, I kind of feel nothing. I kind of feel like, meh. Like, I don't know. I don't think this is worth $55. But this is just like a first reaction. It's not even a first impression because I haven't even put these on my eyeballs yet. So I will play with it and review it for you guys. Definitely go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you want to see a full review. It'll be up eventually here. I'm in the process of testing out a lot of new launches. So definitely in the comments let me know which review video you want to see first. And definitely subscribe so you get notified when I upload that review. Other than that, leave me any comments down below and I will catch you on the next one. Bye guys.